On what would have been his 60th birthday, we look back on the legendary Ayrton Senna, one of the greatest of all time to grace the Formula 1 track. Senna the man transcended Senna the driver, worshipped universally across the current Formula 1 grid and in the hearts of many who follow the sport. So what is it that makes Senna one of the greatest drivers the sport has ever seen? Well let's begin with World Championships. His illustrious but tragically short career saw him win three World Championships in 1988, 1990 and 1991. The most notable of the three was his first World Championship win in 1988, his first season at McLaren, where the famous rivalry between Senna and teammate Alan Prost was rife. The explosive intra-team battle between the two saw Senna set the record for the highest percentage of pole positions in both the 1988 and 1989 seasons at a total of 81.25%, a feat only overtaken by Nigel Mansell in 1992. Across his 10 years racing in the sport, Senna started 162 races, picked up 80 podiums and won a total of 41 races, leaving him fifth in the all-time winners list. Most notably, however, Senna was known for his awe-inspiring on-the-limit qualifying laps, which saw him reel a total of 65 pole positions, placing him third behind only Michael Schumacher on 68 and Lewis Hamilton, who currently has 88. Many still recall perhaps his most famous pole position at the 1988 Monaco Grand Prix, a mesmerising lap that felt more supernatural than supersonic. The Brazilian's mastery of Monte Carlo led to six magnificent wins in the Principality, a record that still holds to this day, five of which were over consecutive years. Despite Senna's tragic death at the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix, he still holds the record for the most consecutive pole positions, with eight, and the most consecutive pole positions at Imola, with eight again, a record only equaled by Schumacher in Japan and Hamilton in Australia. Senna also still holds the record of leading every lap of 19 of his 41 Grand Prix wins, something that could be potentially surpassed by Hamilton this season, the only driver to equal his record. Senna staggeringly spent a total of 36% of his racing career in first place. When considering the era of Senna racing and the numbers, it is evident that he was a supremely talented individual for his time, but perhaps one must also remember the death-defyingly passionate and intensely introspective man he was outside of the car. Ayrton Senna is forever immortalised as one of the most naturally gifted drivers on the planet, an otherworldly superstar whose passion and charisma was like no other. Whilst there is absolutely no doubt that Senna is one of the sport's greats, is he truly the greatest of all time when measured against Michael Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton? Had Senna lived on, would he have eclipsed many of the records to fall in the Schumacher era of dominance? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.